Hello, my name is Leo Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. Uh, in this episode here, what I like to do is I want to talk about the wound in JFK's head. Now, over the years, you know, there's been a lot of speculations about the exit wound inside of JFK's head. But, like I said, when researchers or anybody else have done work on this case, they never really sat down and took the time to piece the evidence together and properly explain it to people. And this is why today there is more speculation about the exit wound in Dr. JFK's head than ever before. But when these reports start coming out, then you got these so-called eyewitnesses claiming that they was there and they seen where the exit wound was is because they're just taken from somebody else's research and say, yeah, I seen this open and that open and everything else. But when you actually study the images and you read over the reports and stuff like that and you start piecing everything together, you get more of an understanding of the reason why a lot of this stuff was even talked about. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do in this video here is explain. As you see here, I have a skull and we're going to use this. So let me set this piece down here. We're going to use this. As you see right here, I have a diagram on this skull where the two bullets enter the back of JFK's head. And then we got the pieces back in this uh, location on JFK's skull. Now, remember, when these doctors at Parkland Hospital said that, you know, the exit wound was in the back of JFK's head, which I'll pull this up right here. They say it's in the back of JFK's head. So when these doctors said this, and then these people and researchers and stuff go out there and push this and say, well, you know, the blow hole was in the back of JFK's head, and that's why they're pointing here and right here and everything else. They add more to it. They add more to that story. They got to add more to that drama. Okay. But they never go in details and explain why did the doctor say that the hole's right here. Okay. Which I'm going to explain to you reason why they claim the exit wound was in the back of JFK's head. Okay. Remember. Okay. Remember this. When... JFK was being was assassinated in Dealey Plaza. What did the Secret Service agents and the police officers and stuff like that and eyewitnesses, what did they found at Dealey Plaza after the assassination? They found pieces of JFK's skull. Okay, they found pieces of it here or there, lying in the grass and everything else. Now at the time that these pieces of JFK's skull was being found in Dealey Plaza, JFK's body is already in Dealey, I mean at uh, Parkland Hospital. And they're taking x-rays and everything else of JFK's head as well, so they can see how bad the wound is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this right here. Okay, when they take an image of JFK's skull, okay, what we're going to see is, remember, Again, as I'm pointing out, but keep this in mind. When JFK's body was at Parkland Hospital, pieces of his skull was gone. Okay, so, because they was being found in Dealey Plaza. So when they take an x-ray at Parkland Hospital of JFK's head, they're going to have pieces of the skull gone. This is where... They come up with the exit wound had been back here. Now, remember, they didn't say the scalp or the skin had a hole in it. It was the skull, the hole right here. And this is based on seeing um, x-rays of it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show this image right here. Okay, I took this image yesterday. And as you see, I got the lines where the pieces of skull that was, you know, back in its place. After the final autopsy, everything's back in its place, but this part of the section of JFK's head is, was completely gone. The skull was completely gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Now we're going to remove them pieces because these pieces here were found in Dealey Plaza. So 
They wouldn't be inside of JFK's head at the time he was in Parkland Hospital. These pieces wasn't added back into JFK's head until they went back to Washington, D.C. So when you have an x-ray, you're taking an x-ray of somebody's skull, and you see this gone right along with this being gone. Now this part of the skull and this part of the skull and another piece of skull was actually still attached to the skin. But these two pieces were completely blown off and people found this in Dilly Plaza. Okay, so this is where they come up with their story of, hey, this is where JFK's head was completely blown out here. But when you find the pieces and you place them back into the position, you're going to see that, no, these are still mostly intact. They've been cracked and blown away, but they're still intact. So when we piece this back together, we're going to see actually right here is where JFK's head opened up, not back here. But when they're looking at it at Parkland Hospital, they're looking at it this way saying, okay, well, we're seeing the x-rays here. This is completely gone. So the shot, this is all completely gone. Works so right here and here's completely gone. So this is where they come up with that hole in the back of JFK's head. But when the pieces of skull were found and you place them back in there, this is what we get. And you can say, okay, now I understand that the back of the head really wasn't, there's still the skull was there, but there was pieces that they found over at uh, Dilly Plaza where they put it back in place and they said, they said, okay, well, the exit wound and everything else is right here now. It's not in the back of JFK's head, but see, they didn't, at Parkland Hospital, the doctors didn't have these pieces at that time. They was looking at JFK's skull as this. They didn't say the skin was completely open up. They was talking about the skull when they did the x-rays, and this part was completely gone because these two pieces were found in Daly Plaza. But at, when he's at Parkland, remember, this part of the skull was at, Park, at Daly Plaza while his body was over at Parkland. So this is why they came up with their story of the back section's gone. I wasn't talking about the skin part. They was talking about the skull part where this skull was completely gone right here because even in some of their interviews, they'll tell you, well, the skull was completely gone right here. Which was true, but it was found in Dilly Plaza. And then you place it back in place. And if they would have placed this back in place, if they actually had the time to put it back in place, these doctors would have, they would say, okay, well, I can understand now that, you know, the exit wound is not back here. It's actually right here. So everything matches in the story that we see in the films and images. Okay. I've been showing, you know, like I said, when they do these tests or when they do this or do that, they don't really take the time in explaining any of this, okay? Because remember, the doctors at Parkland Hospital, they're seeing the two pieces gone, which is right here and right here, which gives them this impression right here. When you're looking at this view, which is this completely gone right here. This is what they're looking at JFK skull at that time. But when they find the pieces and put them back together, this is what we're seeing now. So now we know the blowhole was actually not, the exit wound, I should say, was not the back of the skull. It was actually the side of the skull, as we see. Remember, they're talking about the skull, where the bone was completely gone, as I pointed out. And that's this part here. This is the reason why the doctors at Parkland said the exit wound had to be in here, because this is completely gone right here. They're talking about the skull, not the scalp just a skull. But when the skull, pieces of skull were found and you place them back in place, then you're going to say, okay, well now I can see that it wasn't this, wasn't the exit wound because when we piece this skull back together and we put it back in its perspective and back in its place, we can see that, you know, this is still one complete solid piece. This is one still complete solid piece. Yeah, it was cracked, but they're still solid pieces. So we put them back in place. And, but this part here was completely gone like I try you know I tried to explain people when you look at the different views okay and you take time out and you start looking at this because just like I said just said when you look at this right here okay still some of the pieces of the skull is gone but they put it back in perspective okay they put it back in there they put this piece back in there and this other piece right here because just like when you look at the skull 
Okay, you see how the bottom, this part here comes back out. Okay, this piece is gone, this piece is gone, this piece is gone, and this piece is gone. This is why they always said the hole, the next one was over here. But when they found these pieces and they placed this back in place, this back in this place, this back in this place, this back in this place, and they have a complete skull again, but this is completely gone right here. So the right side of JFK's head was completely gone. These pieces fit back into its place. But see, like I said, they never sat down, researchers or anybody else actually sat down and go over this information and point these facts out to people. This is the reason why, just like I said, when you look at the images, they're going to say, oh, this has been doctored, or that's been doctored. Okay, this Pruder film's doctored because the blowhole, you know, the uh, exit wound is supposed to be back here and stuff like this, right? They didn't say the skin or the scalp of JFK. They was talking about the skull where the bone pieces were missing. This is where they made their mistake and why the blowhole, I mean, the exit wound's back here because of the bone being missing at the time when JFK's body was in Parkland Hospital. But those bones was retrieved in Dilly Plaza. Then when they did the second autopsy, which is in Washington, D.C., and they placed it all back together, okay, then you get more of an instate and then more of a story of actually what, where's the Mrs. Pieces at? Okay, but like I said, they didn't take, nobody wants to take time to explain this type of stuff. They want to just push a story because of them the doctors saying that this part of the skull was gone okay this part of the skull was gone so this has to be the exit wound people and researchers took it upon themselves to say okay yeah i seen the bullet hole back here it was completely gone right here you know because they're hearing that story now of this is gone here by what the doctors claimed at Parkland Hospital, but no one, but the doctors at Parkland didn't know that these bullets, I mean, these bones right here were retrieved and they could have put them back in place if they had the time and they could see, understand that, no, okay, well, they're still mostly intact, okay, they're cracked and stuff, but they're still intact, so this can't be an exit wound. But they're looking at an autopsy, I mean, uh, you know, um, a scan, an x ray of JFK's head. And they're seeing the x-ray looking this with these two bone, these two pieces of bone from Jeff Case skull gone, plus this right here gone, with this bone here and this bone here still attached to the inside of the skin. They're gonna say, okay, well, here's the exit wound right here. You see what I'm saying? That's why they came up with their, you know, their conclusion on what happened. But when you take the pieces and you put them back in uh, perspective, like I said that they found at Parkland Hospital, then you can have this right here, and then you can see and understand a lot more. Like I said, when you look at this, okay, you look at the reports and stuff, and you piece everything together, okay, you get more of an understanding. The problem is, this is why there's more stories told, okay, like I said, a story can be true, Okay, a story can be true, but you have to look for that answer. And that's what I've done in all the years I've done my research into GFK assassination was I look for those answers. Were the doctors right about, you know, the pieces of skull missing here so that would make the exit room there? Yeah, they was right to a point. Okay, the somewhat story was true. However, they did not know, the doctors at Parkland Hospital did not know nothing that the pieces of bone that was missing in this location was in Dealey Plaza being found. Then when they find them and they place them back in position, if the doctors would have seen this, they would say, okay, now the story is, we said it was back here, but we found they found the bone pieces and we put them back in place and stuff. So actually the ex-wound is right here, not here. Okay, they would have came to that conclusion but with them two pieces missing from the puzzle this is where they get their story saying hey no it had to be in here because in the image that they took and okay um excuse me i have to take this i'll be right back i'm back sorry i had to take that call that was about a doctor's appointment for my wife next tuesday 
But like I said, if the doctors knew that these pieces were found in Dealey Plaza and they had a chance to put these pieces back, the doctors probably would have changed their decision to say this part was gone because they would have had a chance to be able to put these pieces back in place. Just like you see in this autopsy image right here, which is an x-ray because they took the uh, they took the pieces of bone that they had and placed them back in their position. Okay, they placed them back in their position and they can say, okay, there it is. But remember, like I said, when you're looking at an autopsy image, okay, when you're looking at an x-ray, I should say, and you see something like this, you're going to come to conclusions that, hey, well, this is where the X is gone. Skin's still there, but all the skin is open up right here. Okay, so the skin could have blown open like that, you know, up like this with this part section gone. Okay, but they weren't talking about the skin having a hole through it. They was talking about the skull itself, not the skin. All right, so with them saying that, and not knowing that these pieces were found and retrieved, that's where people comes in with their stories of saying, no, the films are doctored. Uh, eyewitnesses, so-called eyewitnesses. Yeah, I seen what happened because years later they read in the book, this was gone. This is gone right here. Okay, I seen that. But the doctors at the Parkland Hospital is not saying that the skin was opened up. They're talking about the skull itself. And these pieces were missing. Excuse me. And these pieces were missing. Not the skin itself, but with everybody running around, saying this and saying that, and not piecing everything together, this is where all the confusion comes from. This is where all the speculations come from. This is where everything gets started because no one sat down to go in detail like any doctor or anything else that's like when the stories come into play. A doctor should have sat back and said, well, at the beginning, yeah, this piece and this piece were gone here. So they made a mistake by saying that, you know, the exit wound's here. Because when we found the pieces in part at the uh, Dealey Plaza, we placed them back. Okay, this is what they should have here. And this was really gone right here. Okay, and people can say all they want. They say, well, all these doctors made a mistake. There's no way. Let me tell you something. Those doctors make all kinds of mistakes, okay? People can say whatever they want. There's some doctors out there. There's a lot of doctors out there made a lot of mistakes. I mean, from experience, my wife's doctor, my son's doctor from Ohio gave them a prescription drug that he shouldn't have, and they start making them have seizures. Now they got seizures for life, and he says, oh, I made a mistake. And that was it. Okay, all I made mistakes. So they had to deal with seizures the rest of their life and take seizure meds the rest of their life because of his mistakes. So doctors do make mistakes. They're proven the fact they do make mistakes. Some doctors don't, but some doctors do. But I wanted to go in detail and explain this once and for all so people can understand why did the doctors of Parkland say that this section was gone when it really wasn't gone, the bone the bone fragments were at uh, and found in Dealey Plaza. But when you piece it back together, which they didn't have this information, when you put it back in perspective, you put it back in its position, you can see that it was this section here, not this section here. It's just people and researchers taking that story, add a lot more to it, and a lot more drama to it. And this is why today when we look at things, we say, okay, this don't make no sense. Well, this don't make no sense. Well, this has to be doctored. This film has to be doctored because of the doctor said this here, which the doctors, again, they're misinterpreting the doctors by adding the story in there, by showing people false images like this and pointing out, well, here's, okay, here's the blowout spot here because this is what the doctor says. But the doctor was talking about the skull, not the skin itself. The skull, the bone in the skull was missing right here. This is why they said this had to be in the exit wound because these, this part of the skull was missing, which was found in Dilly Plaza. But people's got to add more to that story so they can bring more of that drama in there and everything else. So when people looks at these autopsy images and you say this back of JFK's head here, which holds evidence but you can see a bullet hole here and here in the back of JFK's head. 
they're going to say, oh, well, no, this has been altered. So this is all doctored. So we can't use this as evidence now because people says this was altered because a blowhole should be here. You see what I'm saying? Just like when you look inside of JFK's head with the pieces missing out of there, okay, without the, with the pieces missing out of there, it does look like, okay, they put this piece back in its perspective plot. Okay, but you still see this piece here because this is JFK's lower neck right here. And this is where they pull the skin back, which you can see the two bullet holes right in the scalp, which would be, let me bring this one up and this up here. Okay, side by side so you can see and understand what I'm talking about. When you bring this up over here, okay, now we're going to look at the skull, I mean the inside. And as you see, we got bullet hole here and a bullet hole here. That's these two holes right here. Now this part of the section of JFK's skull is back in place when they put it back in there when you open it up. But as you notice that this part here is gone. So this is right here is what we're looking at right here. So this is where the doctor said this is completely gone right here because a bone ain't added back into it yet. That's the reason why. So I just want to make this video here and go in a little bit more detail and explain the reason why the doctors of Parkland said this. Okay, it's just the people in general and the researchers add more to their story to blow it all out of water so they can say this has been altered, that's been altered, this is a cover-up, that's a cover-up. Okay, when a lot of stuff in the JFK assassination has not been covered up, okay, there's some things has been covered up, but people like to add things to the story. So when you sit down, a doctor or somebody should have done this years ago, sat down and explain this, this is where the mistakes occurred. This is the reason why they said this. This is the reason why they said that. Okay. They'd have done this from the word go. Didn't know we wouldn't have to deal with today as a researcher or even people in general would have to deal with all them stories that was made up over the years because of this. If they had to sit down and just explain it to us. Yes, the doctors of Parkland didn't know that they retrieved these two pieces of bone fragments right here. They didn't know it. So their judgment will be by seeing the x-ray images that this is the exit wound. But when you look at reality of it and you know you they and all of a sudden you put the pieces together back because the bone fragments were found, and there you go. And this is the section was blown out, the right side of JFK's head as we see in the films and images. Okay, that's why I wanted to point out because, you know, I get a lot of people sit there, you know, email me and stuff like that. Every time I post a video, you know, I get some dislikes on it and I get heat from what I posted. I'm just giving people the explanations. I'm just giving people the answers that I look for and I'm just explaining a little bit more then other researchers will not take the time out to explain this or explain that or to look over this or to look over that. Okay, they're willing to agree with somebody's story just like that without looking into it. For, for as, when I do my research investigation, I'll have them tell me the story, but I have to look into it. I have to see if there's any truth to it. Other people, they just rather just listen to the story. Let me write this down. This is what we're going to use as solid gold right here. This is the evidence right here what you can't do because you don't know if that person is telling the truth or not. But, you know, like I said, I want to go in a little bit more details to show people this so they understand the reason why the doctors at Parkland Hospital said this, okay, about the whole exit wound being here is because of the x-ray images and with the two pieces of bone missing. But when they found the pieces of bone in Dilly Plaza and they take it back with them to uh, Washington, D.C., and they put these pieces of bone back and this gives us the more better story of JFK's head being opened up right here not back here but right here okay everything's fitting and everything's matching but with everybody thinking and with people researchers pushing more of an issue not saying well they're talking about the x-rays of JFK's head where there's bone fragments missing from JFK's skull not from his skin, from the skull. Now, the skin is still completely intact, but the skull bone is gone right here from the x-rays that they took. This is the reason why they said the x wounds back here. Okay, if they want to explain that more, but 
they did found them pieces of bone in Dilly Plaza. So when we place them back into place, we can see here, this is how they made their mistake because them two pieces of bone right here was not at Parkland Hospital at the time. They was found in Dilly Plaza Why JFK's body was in Parkland. And then when they took them to Washington DC and they placed the bone front pieces back like this, this is where the exit actually was, was on the right side of JFK's head. They would have known that then. People would have known that. Then we wouldn't have to worry about all these false stories. But I just want to make this video here and show some people some more information. That, like I said, they won't go in details over or anything else like that. In the description down below, you find a site where you can order my book, Evidence of Conspiracy. The only book you need in the JFK assassination. Uh, don't forget the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this information and other information from other videos on your social medias and other outlets all over the net and stuff. So other people may know this information. Thank you and please have a pleasant, pleasant day.